everybody welcome back to my channel so this week i'm gonna be showing you what i eat in a day or no what i eat in a week which i haven't filmed in over a year like on my channel the last time i uploaded what i eat in a week was july 22nd 2022 so i thought that i would film this for you guys because you guys love these videos i love these videos and i just want to eat so i'm currently plant-based so hopefully this video shows you you can eat really good vegan food while keeping your figure good maintaining your weight or you can use these for your weight loss whatever journey you're on so it's currently wednesday i don't normally do my makeup this early but i'm going to manchester city center let's start breakfast because i gotta leave in 40 minutes. So for breakfast today, I'm gonna to be making myself a coconut mango oatmeal. So that the first thing we're going to do is add some oatmeal into the pot. Ooh, what is that? We got a weird looking out. Let's get it out. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Ew. I'm gonna add a teeny bit of coconut milk. I don't like to add a lot because it's very high in calories. I don't really care about calories, but when you eat a lot of good food, you have to somewhat care. <laughs> Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add some organic desiccated coconut. Then we're gonna just put it on high heat. You look so pretty today. Oh no. You were just, oh, you can't come out again. Silly. I'm gonna just add a teeny bit of soy milk just to make it a little bit milkier. I'm gonna add some chia seeds as well. And some agave syrup. Boom. And there we go. Doesn't that look so good? And then on the side to go with my breakfast, I'll be taking my little pig cup and making myself some caffeine-free vanilla chai tea. I feel like I'm at a tropical island when I eat this. It's like this kick of sweetness, and then the aftertaste is coconut. It just tastes amazing. everybody so i didn't have dinner last night i never go without eating dinner but i think it's because i ate the sandwich like that cafe food so late in the day because i was shopping in manchester i was looking for a graduation dress and i didn't end up eating until 3 30. when i got home i put carl to bed it was like seven o'clock and i was still full so i didn't want to force myself to eat when i'm not hungry and i didn't want to just do it for the camera so yeah i'm sorry i didn't show you guys what i normally eat for dinner but from here on I'll be making sure that if I do go out, I have lunch first and then go out. <laughs> so for breakfast, I'm gonna be making some masala dosa. It's a South Indian dish. It's sort of like a Indian crepe, but it's made of rice, chickpeas, and lentils. And then in the inside, it's a filling of potatoes and all these different spices and it's really really good if you do try this meal make it on a day that you have off because it does take a while to cook and the actual batter itself takes about two days to ferment so i didn't film this process but if you want it i'll link a recipe down below So I'm gonna add the onions and jalapenos, the lentils and chickpeas that we put on the side, some cumin. This is the 
best looking dosa I've ever made. Look at how much I have left over. So on the side, I'm just gonna add some mango. And I also have some mango chutney. And then for drinks on the side, I just made myself a vanilla chai with a splash of soy milk and a big cup of water. Well, it's actually not really that big, but salad chai. Dip it in here. Cheers. I want to cry, that's how good it is. Add some mango. There's something about this dish that just releases endorphins when I eat it. Some chopped tomatoes. Okay, so this is my lunch for today. I just made myself a tomato soup with a little bit of coriander over top. Coriander? Wow, I'm turning British. Cilantro over top. And then I made myself a vegan grilled cheese. So yeah, let's eat. Ooh. Garnish, I thought it'd be cute to put some cucumbers. And on the side, I saw some gyozas. I had some leftovers from the other day. And then I'm gonna add a side of chinkyang vinegar. And voila, here is my dinner. Took off my makeup, so I might look a little bit weird right now. So for dinner today, I made some sobu noodles. This is one of the easiest dinners you can make. I usually make this when I'm really busy and I don't feel like cooking. You literally just put all of this into one pan. It takes about 10-15 minutes and then you're done. Bon appétit! What is this flavor for? Taro. I want to try the taro one. Ew, I was trying to make this satisfying, but that didn't look satisfying at all. Okay. Mmm. So I just myself some breakfast. This is my tea. I made an, another vanilla chai with probably like not a splash of soy milk, but like half a cup of soy milk. I just made myself a masala dosa. I just reheated the filling. On the side, I have some strawberries and I have some more mango chutney. Okay, so it's now lunchtime. I'm gonna be making a recipe for mang chi, so I'll link it down below so you guys can actually watch her video. So what you're gonna need are some rice cakes. So normally you're gonna want the cylinder ones, like this, like a cylinder shape. But I went to two different Asian markets, and they're all sold out of it. So I just picked up these ones. They're the sliced rice cakes, so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so let's get cooking. a whole 
week of filming, I'm gonna be like, Megan, you should've got rid of that plant. He not harming nobody. He's just dead. Chest about fits. Okay, so I just finished making a pizza. Just looking at the box. I made the one from M&S. It's the wood fire vegan hot and spicy. It's probably one of the best pizzas that I've tried so far that's plant-based. It has like these little candied tomato things. I don't know if you can see them, but it just like brings it to life. It's so good. so lazy for breakfast i'm having soy greek yogurt with strawberries bananas chia seeds flax seeds and some agave syrup over top cheers this looks really ugly but it's really good trust me Okay, so for lunch today, I made myself my leftovers, but to make it a little bit more nutritious, I added some tofu and a little bit more green onions. I could literally eat this all day, every day. I'm telling you, this is better than the cheat meal that I had yesterday. Like... Mm. So it's Sunday and we're making pancakes. Oh no! Like Swiss cheese. Oh, oh, ew, why is it looking like leathery skin? Okay, Mr. Wrinkly Old Skin, let's flip you over. There we go.
for lunch today because I had some leftover rice cakes. I made myself a rice cake soup. This looks so good. I've made so much that I don't think I'll be able to eat all this. Mmm. just it feels like really comforting out of all the meals i've made this week this is the one that you would have on like a really cold day and actually it's raining outside so it kind of fits and last but certainly not least for my final meal for this video i'm making a british delicacy which is bangers and mash mash I'm going to add some vegan mayo and every time you like run it through like this and you feel a little bit of resistance just add a little bit more soy milk there we go see that's good And now we're going to be adding some chicken gravy. This was probably the most shocking thing that I found out when I went plant-based is that most chicken and beef gravies that you buy in these little packets are vegan. You think there would be beef and chicken in here, but there's not, so... Et voila, here's my bangers and mash. Oh, I'm going to change. Oh, I'm really, really, really excited for this one. One of my favorite, favorite meals. Let's try the smash first. Who says you can't eat good on a plant-based diet, girl? Mmm, I really like these sausages. I haven't tried this brand before. I just pick up the cheapest one, pretty much in the supermarket, like whichever one's on sale. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll have that one. This one's really good. You guys, I got a confession to make. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Look at my food, baby. For my last meal today, I'm gonna have a little bit of that lemon sorbet. I love food. <laughs> just really love food. I think I'm gonna end it there. I've really enjoyed filming this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will link all of the like recipes that I use down below. Some of them I don't have recipes for simply because I've been making them for so long that I don't need the recipe and I don't remember where I got the recipe from, but I will try to get it for you guys. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!